Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And today I will very quickly show you how to do an Easter event 2021. For this event, you don't really need any items, but if you want to speed it up slightly, you can buy a Lumberyard Teleport. If not, that's completely fine. And you can use one stamina potion or an energy potion if you're free to play, if you do not have a high agility level. Both of those items are completely not needed though. So with that being said, let's jump right into the Easter guide. So, once you make your way to Draenor, you can either run from Lumbridge or just teleport here with an Amulet of Glory, which is another item that you might want to bring if you want to make your way to Draenor faster. You start off by talking to Greg the Rabbit. And um, I'm going to make sure to go through this as fast as possible, but if you do want to get... Um, but if you do want to take your time and speak to the rabbit slowly, go through the conversations, feel free to do so yourself. We're going to click option number one, yes, to start the Easter event here. And that is how we start it off. We're going to get a couple of items. And with those items, we're going to go slightly left over here to Aggie the Witch. We're going to open the door and speak to Aggie. Now, she's going to make us a die after we click option number one again. And we're just going to speed through this by holding spacebar. And we're going to give him, give her the flowers and the Greg's IOU. And just like that, we got a thick die. At this point, we're going to run our way back to Greg. And we're going to speak to him. So at this point, he uses the die. And he should give you an ability to teleport to Lumbridge right after this, right after this cutscene. So he colors this door. And he should give us an ability to teleport to Lumbridge. And just click option yes, and he will teleport you straight to Lumbridge. There we go. You should be located right next to Greg the Bunny in Lumbridge right now. Let's speak to him. Hold a spacebar. And after this conversation, you should get ready to move to the sheep pen just slightly north of the Lumbridge castle. And let's run our way there right now. I think the fastest way is to go through this door left of the castle and run north. And then pass the general store and you will be right next to the sheep pen. So here's a few things we're going to have to do here. We're going to speak to Greg once again in the actual sheep pen. Uh, and we're just going to have to shear three sheep for three wool. So let's speak to Greg. And he has some funny dialogues. If you want to go through it slowly, feel free to do so. He will give you shears here. And at this point, you are free to click three different sheep. Make sure you are not clicking on a sheep that has penguin legs underneath. You want to get three of those done. And speak to Greg again. If you do this correctly, he will give you an ability to teleport you straight to Varrock. That way, if you are level three, you don't need to go past the wizard mages or anything like that. And you will be located right next to General Store in Varrock. Open the door and speak to Greg in the Varrock clothing shop. And once again, hold the spacebar here. And they will ask you to go to Lumberyard. So here is where this Lumberyard teleport uh, comes in handy. Um, but if you don't have it, feel free to just run there. Now, if you do not know how to run there, I'll show you here in a second. But since we are doing this the fastest way possible, we are going to teleport there. But if you're free to play, you cannot do that. So you're going to run a bit north, all the way right, past the gates, and all the way north until you reach the lumber yard in, uh, you know, northern part of Varrock. So we're just going to teleport right there. If you still didn't understand when, where the lumber yard is located, it is right over here, very next to Varrock, very simple to get to. At this point, speak to Greg once again. Hold your spacebar and you should be going into a cutscene. Um, basically, Greg is trying to get his planks now. At this point, our boy Greg finds out there's some cats in the lumberyard. But I do think he still manages to get his planks. And just like that, we should now uh, have an ability to teleport back to Draenor. After another cutscene, I assume. Yep, yeah, there it is. And at this point, you're gonna click option number one to teleport back to Draenor. In this whole little mini quest, all you're clicking is spacebar and one. At this point, talk to Mr. Greg in Draenor. And that's gonna be the fastest Easter event we've ever had, I think. It's like a four minute one if you hold spacebar. If you read all the dialogue, obviously it takes a bit longer. 
Here you'll see that the wise old man, Aggie the Witch and Ned decided to decorate their town by themselves. And that's pretty much what Greg had in mind. And let's just... There's nothing you can do here. I guess you can still hold spacebar actually to go through this conversation faster. And I do hope this, uh, this was helpful. This was uh, very simple to do, but some people just like to have a little bit of a guidance uh, when they do these events. I do these events for... Well, every time there's an event, I make one of these videos to help the community out. And always the reception is very nice. So if you did see this video, if you did follow it, make sure you give the video a like. Why not? Helps me out. Let me know in the comments as well. And now we're just going to check the rewards here. What kind of rewards we end up getting. So the important part here, obviously, is the fact that you get all the rewards for from the all the past events. But also you get the music... Um, the music unlock. So if you ever go for that music cape, doing this on the release is very, very crucial. So here we go. The cutscene is over. We are able to hold our spacebar again. And Greg should give us our items here. Um, some of these items are fairly cool. So you will be receiving some Easter eggs, but also a propeller hat and Greg's East door. Let me know in the comments if you get any extra items. On my Iron Man, I got the items from the last year's event as well. So this is what a propeller hat looks like, and this is what the massive door looks like. Um, very cool. I do hope you guys enjoyed once again. I will be doing a video on the new fishing boss, hopefully tomorrow. And in the meantime, if you want something to, you know, spend your time doing, feel free to check out my second channel, where I upload highly edited League of Legends funny montages. With that being said, have a good one, stay safe, and bye-bye.